guys, so today's video is gonna be pretty funny because I'm going to be talking about the positive things and the negative things about being very, very short. Now, I am five, almost one inches tall, which is about, I think, 154 centimeters. So I am not a little person. I am just like a little bit above that. But I just wanted to say that because I am not a little person, but I am like as small as you can be without being a little person, basically. Um, I am very, very short. So if you guys would like to hear some funny and ridiculous things about being super short and hear some stories and stuff like that, keep watching. All right, so I'm gonna start this video off by telling you guys a story. Last year, I was at a baseball game with my family and friends, and I went to go get something to eat. And I was walking up the stairs at the baseball stadium, and quickly to give a little bit of perspective, remember, I'm very short, meaning that I am essentially at elbow height of a normal-sized person. So I was walking up the stairs, and somebody turned, and they had their arm out like this, and they smacked me with their elbow right in the side of my head, like so hard that I was like dizzy for a second. And this person didn't even notice. They were probably drinking and just having a good time at the game. I'm not trying to hate on them, but they smacked me really hard in the face with their elbow and just didn't notice because I'm literally so short that they just didn't even see that I was there. Like for all they knew, they could have smacked their elbow into like one of the chairs or something. And I was about to walk on up the stairs and just ignore it and not say anything when another guy was there who was like, I don't know, maybe a teenager. And he turns to the guy that just hit me in the face and says, hey, you just hit that kid in the head. So it was very nice of this teenager to come to my defense and try to tell this big guy that I'd just been smacked in the face by him, but at the same time, I'm not 12 years old, so <clears throat> anyway, you get my point that most people assume that I am younger than I am because I am so small. As for getting hit in the face by people's elbows, this happens basically anytime I'm in a big crowd. Like, I know that if I go to a concert, I need to have my hands up like this all the time to like protect my head from being smacked by other people's elbows because they're like going like this, I'm gonna get hit in the head. Like, that's just a given. All right, so now that I've told you guys this little story, I'm gonna go through some other little things that some of them are good, positive things about being so short, and some of them are incredibly frustrating. So the first one that I think many people can relate to, even if you're not very short like me, is getting things out of a high cabinet. I have basically perfected the art of the classic like hop up with one hip onto the counter so then you can sit on the counter and reach something up above you. Like I've just gotten really, really good at this because I've had to do this for my entire life. Our kitchen right now has like a lot of really high cabinets and we just can't use any of them because I would literally, even with a step stool, not be able to get stuff out of them. So quickly, a positive thing about being so small is that I can literally like find a place to sleep anywhere. Like if I go on an airplane or a bus ride, I can curl up into that one seat like a little baby in the womb and sleep there and it is very handy. Of course, then people will just assume that I'm a child because when I curl up in a little ball like this in an airplane seat, I look like a seven-year-old taking a nap, but nonetheless, it is incredibly helpful. All right, the next thing is that shopping is a pain. Even if I go to a petite section, I can still struggle to find clothes that fit me because I am really on the short side of being a petite size, if that makes sense. If I go shopping with a friend, she will like pull out dresses and like pants and stuff and be like, oh, you should try this on. And I just know if I put that on, I will look like a 10 year old trying on her mom's clothes. It is pretty much a given that if I buy a pair of pants that aren't meant for a petite person, I am going to have to cut the bottoms off of those pants. Like the number of jeans I have purchased that just have like ragged edges at the bottom is ridiculous. And yes, now that is a big style and I get that that's like cool or whatever, but when I was a teenager, I all I wanted was to have a pair of pants that fit me perfectly like every other freaking human being does. 
Okay, and the next thing I have to talk about is the fact that my husband is over six feet tall, and that means there's like a lot of space in between us, and it means that if I want to kiss him, I literally have to ask, because I can't just kiss him because I'm so far away from his face, so I have to be like, baby, can I have a kiss? Can I have a kiss? And then he has to bend over like a, like a mama giraffe, like feeding her baby kind of, I mean, yikes. But you know, we make it work. And the last point I have that you will understand if you are short is no matter where you are sitting, whether it's like in the car or at the table, you will need to be propped up. Like if I sit at the dinner table, I have to put like one of my legs like bent underneath the other so I can use my leg to sort of prop myself up. And if I'm driving a car, I need to have like a booster seat, literally. It's ridiculous, but that's just the reality is that Things are not built for people that are as small as me. And yes, sometimes that's nice, like, you know, getting to curl up in an airplane seat is very handy, but generally speaking, it's pretty frustrating and causes a lot of, not issues, but just like annoyances, kind of. Anyway, you know, whatever, it's fine. It's not the worst thing in the world, but yeah. And a piece of advice. If you have a friend who is short, don't you dare pick them up, I will slap you. Anyway, you guys, I guess that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed listening to me sort of complain about being short. There's some definitely good things about it, but still. Anyway, if you like this video, please hit that like button, and if you want to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do so, but if you don't want to, I will not hold it against you. That's it for me, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!